what's good youtube i'm back again with another video if you're new welcome and if you're a returning subscriber we here we locked in y'all not pinky trying to make an appearance in my video as always my little stuff there y'all i know i'm getting i'm doing bad right now like i should have been took y'all yesterday i got my first retwist i'm one month locked y'all i got some budding going on as y'all can see like we in somewhere. She put my hair in this cute little style. If y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all would've seen. Yesterday I posted it. I should've took y'all. And it's crazy because she asked me where my camera was, but I was so tired, just got off work and everything. But yeah, y'all, get into this cute, grungy look. The lip is everything. I don't know if y'all been seeing this JT lip, inspired lip going around, but I went ahead and went to the girl's page who created the whole look and I just did a recreation like with the double wing, the glossy lid, the lip. People are just doing a lip, but I wanted to do the whole thing. It was something simple, very easy to create and I'm excited to bring this video to you guys and you guys how I recreated it. Um, I really love this. So I'm just hoping I can get some good pictures out of this and I hope y'all like this look as well or even enjoy this video. I know I'm slacking. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to put out more y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed my last video before this. It was just a vlog. Yeah. I'm still here y'all. I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. Okay. This is just gonna be a voiceover. I'm gonna show you guys the steps that I took and everything. Before we get into this video, make sure y'all like, y'all comment, y'all subscribe, turn your post notifications on so you know every time I post a new video. Yeah, we just gonna get right on into this video because I don't wanna do too much talking. I, I do a lot of that, okay? So yeah, we gonna get into it. With another voiceover. Um, this is gonna be a tutorial once it gets towards like the eye look or whatever. Um, this is my same routine as I stay in every single video. I'm doing my same foundation routine, uh, my same primer routine, concealer, contour, um, blush, and everything. So I wanted to just let you guys go ahead and watch this with the music playing, and then I was gonna hop back in when we got to the main focus of this makeup look, which would be the lips and the eye look. I did want to hop on here and just say that for those of you guys that are real supporters that's been here since day one, um, you guys will see like the evolution in, I, in my makeup. And don't get me wrong, I'm still going, but me looking back at my older videos to now, like you can see the growth. Well, I can see the growth. I don't know if you guys can see the growth, but if you're my A1 day one, then you guys will be able to see that too. I also want to say that I'm really trying to find my niche. I don't know if that's how you guys say that. When I say this, I explain this to my boyfriend all the time. When I say find my niche, I mean like when I'm doing makeup, I want to find me, meaning that when I do a look or just to look on anybody else, like when I have a client or myself, you guys are going to know that I did that makeup. Like, I don't, I feel like when I do my looks, um, since I'm still learning and finding new techniques along the way, to me, it seems like my makeup comes out different each time, whether it be the nose contouring or like the brightness under my eye or the way I apply blush or the way I apply powder, whatever the case is, to me, it seems like it changes over time. But really, it's just me taking on a new skill each time just to see and find out what I actually like 
to incorporate into my routine so that it can stay embedded into my routine. So a lot of people probably wouldn't realize that. Like when I was talking to my boyfriend, he was like, what are you talking about? Your makeup looks the same every time. But me knowing what I do, like the flaws and everything, I can see the difference in my makeup. I can see when there's a change. So I just want to kind of let you guys know that if it looks different each time, it's just me finding new skills or watching other people do their makeup and I'm incorporating it just to see if what they like I may like or whatever they like I may not like or whatever I like they may not like so it's just me trying to find new things that are going to help me in the long run but I really do appreciate those who continue to watch me and support me I'm really trying to get out here I've been in a little um, I don't know what you want to call it. You know how they say writer's block? I wouldn't say makeup block because I have ideas, but I've kind of been in the funk where I'm trying to find me and trying to get myself out there. And I feel like the level of support that I want, I don't have. Or the people that say they support me. I don't have that level of support from a lot of people. I have support from people that I don't expect to support me. And my man, of course. But like the people that I do expect it to come from, I don't have that. So I'm kind of right now trying to find a way to get out of that. And just do what I love doing, which is makeup and fashion or whatever. And putting out content because I want to put it out whether... I get as many views or likes or anybody sees my video. Also, um, yeah, I love putting out these looks and creating them and making videos or whatever the case is. I don't do much. I literally work and I make content. So I guess what I'm trying to say is my reason for expecting that support is because I feel like I put a lot of time into these videos. Like... I work full time. I'm tired. So the time that I do get and I take to edit and make everything look good and it goes unnoticed, that kind of, you know, makes me feel away. But we getting out of that. It's 2023. I know I said we turning up all 2023 and I want to keep it that way. I don't want to let anything bring me down. So, yeah, I just thought I'd get on here and just, you know, I'm being vulnerable. I'm showing you guys the real. This is, this is real. But, yeah, I really had fun doing this look. It was something that I wanted to do, like I said, it at the beginning of the video. Um, as you guys can see, my routine did not change. I do need to get some more foundation. I will be trying the NARS Radiant Foundation, I believe, um, I just have to go in store and find my correct shade. I don't want to order anything and it not be my correct shade. So I really want to try that foundation out. And I hope that it works good just like everybody says because that foundation is $50. And y'all can see if y'all watch these last little clips, I'm running real low on my Maybelline and I'm running real low on my Juvia's Place. Like, I've really been, I've been working in bottles. Like, they empty. Um... Yeah, so that's what I'll probably be trying. I want to do better at bringing my camera along with me because I could have took you guys along with me to do my lock updates because I said I will be doing that on my channel. I also could have recorded for you guys the other day when I did my get ready with me. I don't know if anybody follows me on Instagram or TikTok. My TikTok is Alexis Danae and my Instagram is original Lex underscore. You guys followed me, then you guys would have seen that look, which I should have recorded. But again, I'm in that funk where I feel like I can record sometimes and I don't have to record this time. I don't know. It's just weird, but I'm trying to do better. And if I want to do this, I know that it comes with being consistent and persistent, regardless of what anybody else thinks, feels, or may say. I know that I'm good, great, whatever the word is. I know that I have potential to be big and I just got to keep believing in myself because I have time, moments where I'm like all the way up there with my confidence and then 
if somebody says something or has something to say, then like my confidence gets shot down. But I'm going to try to keep my confidence level up there. I don't want to run you guys off. I will have more story times coming. Uh, I really want to do that. And I noticed my last story time video that I posted on New Year's Day that got ran up and I did not expect it to. And I hope you guys understand that I don't want to just be a story time channel. I want to incorporate story times, vlogs, makeup, fashion, clothing or whatever. And I want it to be this whole big thing. I don't want to just be big off of one thing because I have some story times that are interesting. I have story times that are not interesting. But unlike these other story time channels, I don't have a hundred stories just to tell y'all back to back, you know. So, yeah, I want to share my experiences with you guys and open up with you guys so you guys can learn more about me. But... Me doing this and having a big variety on my channel of content that I want to put out is basically me trying to express what I like doing and trying to show you guys the real me, I guess I would say. But yeah, at this point, I'm just rambling on and on and I don't want to get all emotional or sentimental and I didn't want to make this that, but... I did just want to get on here and express that to you guys and why you guys probably aren't seeing as much content as I should be putting out. So, yeah, I do have some things planned. So y'all will be getting some videos. It takes a lot. Recording, editing, working. It just takes a lot. And I'm not even going to lie. Sometimes I pick up the phone and I'll be editing i'll probably edit like one clip and then i'll put the phone down and i'll be done and then i'm watching tv only because i get tired but yeah i wanted to get into this so i seen this girl doing her blush or whatever so i'm using the same blush that i always use but you know how the blush has two shades in there I would just mix them together and just put it on my cheeks. But I watched a girl do her makeup and she literally took the darker blush shade and she put it toward, more towards the contour um, part of her cheeks that she bronzed with. And then she took the lighter shade that was in the palette and put it closer to her eye and like above her cheekbones. So it made like this ombre thing. So... I actually tried this doing this look and I actually love the outcome. So I think that's what I'll be doing from here on out. Um, I love the way I contour my nose. I love the bright under eye. I don't know. I just feel like everything was different the way I did my makeup. And like I said, I don't know if you guys watched and actually can see my growth with my makeup and how far I've came. And trust me, I'm just going to keep elevating. But... I will say that I am proud of myself because, like, I just keep going back to look at these photos. Like, this look was very, very simple. Very simple. But I did the damn thing. So now we're getting into the eye look. Because I did say I was going to let y'all listen to the music instead of rambling. But I literally sat here and talked. So I, I do apologize, y'all. I love y'all. Thank y'all for watching. But, yeah, I took the Charmy liner from the crayon case. I find this liner very easy to use because it's literally shaped like a pen and easier for me to do. I used to use the NYX liner and like the Wet n Wild, but I feel like I didn't have, as, I can't even talk already. I didn't have as much control over it as I do with this pen. And right here, I don't know, doing longer wings, like it's different from just lining your eye up. So I had to take deep breaths just to get it because I was nervous. My face was already set with the powder and everything. So to me, it just felt like, okay, one wrong move, it's over with. So yeah, I got the wings down. And it actually came out really good on the first try. I'm not even going to lie. So I just started to take the powder, as I stated before, how people like to use the powder under their eyes to wipe away the translucent powder. And I wasn't doing that, but 
I actually just started doing it. Well, I tried it in this look. And I think the day before when I didn't record or whatever. And I actually like the outcome. I actually like the finish that it gave me. But I used the um, Maybelline face powder in the shade 330. Just basically you want to use a shade that is closer to your concealer shade. So I tried it out just to see how it was. And I actually liked it. Um, I still have that bright under eye effect. So here I am just um, going into my waterline with the black. Just so I can give it that smoky, that smoky type of look. I always do that to myself. Eyes watering. Oh my God. So I went into that James Charles and I took that black just to make that double line. So basically what I did here, I don't know if you guys can see the photo, but her eye looked like it was smoked underneath. And then the second wing, you would call it, looked like it got drag, dragged out from that smokiness. So... I don't know. I can't really explain it. Also, I do want to apologize because I have a hard time explaining the steps that I take, even though I'm trying to do a damn tutorial. But yeah, so that's basically what I did. And it was very easy. And then I just went back in with that Sharp Me liner and I made a, what was it? An inner wing because she had like this whole inner wing going on. And I felt that that was very easy to do as well just make two points and basically connect it with the inner part of your eye and i really liked it it gave it like this like i said at the beginning this grungy look it was this cute like i don't know i felt like a rock star i'm not even gonna lie but yeah so i took this beauty supply store gloss if you guys know plenty of you might have seen that gloss before it's a really good gloss for you know new lips or whatever if you just want to top something with gloss but i just use that to use any clear gloss and it looked like she had some glossy lids going on so i went ahead and put the gloss on my lids but i didn't put it directly on the eyeliner i put it just above so my eyeliner wasn't touching the gloss and it didn't smear and then that way when i apply my lashes the glue has something to stick to which is just the liner so there was no gloss on the actual liner part Y'all, I finally got a lip liner, but I really needed one for this look because otherwise I felt like it wasn't going to turn out right. So I had got this Nick, Nick, oh my God, this NYX liner pencil and like the deepest brown. I don't remember which one it was, but I had grabbed it from Walmart or whatever. And I just lined my lips like normal. And then I went back into the James Charles palette and I took that black and kind of made that ombre effect on my lips like she had i know the girl who created the look she had like a matte look with black lipstick but i don't have one um i don't own one so i just thought that i would finesse with a black eyeshadow because it basically would do the same thing honestly let's be real like i said before make do with what you got you could turn nothing into something. I'm just saying. So I basically made that ombre effect at the bottom of my lips and at the top of the, the top of the, at the top of my lips as well. I'm laughing. I don't know. I'm just so goofy. I'm sitting here laughing because I was trying to talk and put gloss on at the same time. And I don't know why I thought that was just so funny. I swear I'd be in my own little world. I promise you I do. But yeah, I'm just adding gloss, but what I did here is I added gloss around my lips, but I didn't quite smear it on the black part because I was scared that my lips were going to smear together and it was going to defeat the whole purpose of the black. Then I went in with this MAC lip glass, I believe it was. I don't remember the name of it, but it just had like some shimmers and some sparkles. So I just added that to my lips. You probably can't really see it in this video. Or anything but yeah it just added like a little bit of sparkle went ahead and got my lashes ready for falsies uh, had to make sure my bottom lashes were done I don't know what lashes I might do lash out 
Okay, I'm like this dude just swinging it. I don't even know what I'm swinging it. And I don't even know where I'm dreaming it. And I don't even know where I'm dreaming it. I do lash down. I do just swinging it. I do lash down. I do bling beady. I do bling beady. I do bling beady. I had to let y'all hear that clip because I swear I'll be in my own world. Like, how do I start making a rap about some lashes? But anyways, this look is definitely coming together. I went in with my Watch Me Blush palette from the Crayon Case as well. And I took that shade Old Banana for highlight. Love it. Um, took my setting spray, set my face. And now I'm just trying, looking at myself. Y'all, I just want to say as a content creator... Y'all are doing the damn thing. I know I'm trying to become one, but it is very overwhelming. And I try. I was recording three videos at once. And I managed to get through it. That's why we're here now. But goddamn. So this is what I got to get used to. But yeah, y'all, this is the finished look. And I really hope y'all enjoyed watching. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video.